It's eggshell white and fuzzy looking, about the size of a cauliflower, and grows on hardwood tree trunks deep in the forest. And while it might look like something straight out of a fairy tale, this mushroom may contain some of the world's most powerful compounds for supporting brain health. You'll hear a lot of people say, lion's mane cured my brain fog. And you're probably wondering, is that really true? Lion's mane has long been a culinary and medicinal staple in Asia. But in recent years, it has captured the imagination of researchers worldwide. Over the past two decades, dozens of studies have explored its potential to support memory, cognition, and even protect humans against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. At North Sport, we've been following the science around lion's mane since our inception. In late last year, we attended the 12th International Medicinal Mushroom Conference in Bari, Italy, to dive even deeper into the history and science of this mysterious and wildly delicious mushroom. So, is it all just hype, or is this mushroom truly living up to its reputation? Lion's mane has been consumed for a few thousand years, yet the history surrounding it is rather fuzzy. The first written record of lion's mane dates back to the Tang Dynasty in China, where it was described as a mushroom reserved for royalty. This wasn't unique to lion's mane though, as other mushrooms such as matsutake, reishi, cordyceps, turkey tail, and shiitake were also seen as prized edible and medicinal mushrooms at the time. It's no surprise that these mushrooms were put on pedestals. Though easy to identify, wild lion's mane is somewhat rare and a real treat to find growing in nature. Over time, lion's mane became an important ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine, expanding its use to people of all social classes. In ancient Chinese texts, lion's mane is described as a mushroom containing properties that nourish the spleen and stomach, boost qi, and calm the spirit. Other Asian cultures were keenly aware of this mushroom too. In Japan, lion's mane is called Yamabushitake, or mountain monk's mushroom a name that originates from the monks who foraged it in the woods alongside other medicinal plants hundreds of years ago. Fast forward to 1988, and relying solely on foraging for this mushroom became a thing of the past. That year, mushroom farmers in China first began cultivating it for commercial consumption, and the rest is, well, history. You'll notice that the most well-documented historical evidence regarding the use of lion's mane, and mushrooms more broadly, comes from Asia. Many Asian cultures have long been mycophilic. They love mushrooms and have carefully documented them. By contrast, some cultures in Western Europe became mycophobic, in part due to devastating fungal blights that wiped out precious crops in the 1800s. Their focus on fungi was fairly limited, though that didn't mean people weren't consuming mushrooms like lion's mane. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, oral history suggests that indigenous peoples in North America also consumed this mushroom. You may have noticed that I just mentioned Asia, Europe, and North America, three very different regions. That's because lion's mane, specifically Heresium arenaceus, is native to all of them and its genus stretches back millions of years. This mushroom has existed for far longer than us humans and predates even our earliest ancestors. It's hard to imagine that people throughout history didn't interact with lion's mane in ways we may never fully know. So what makes lion's mane stand out from the millions of other fungal species out there? The secret lies within. It's nutrient dense, low in fat, high in fiber, packed with potassium, magnesium, copper, B vitamins, vitamin D, and selenium. On top of that, it contains antioxidants like ergothionine, along with polysaccharides that support your immune system. While this is amazing for your gut biome, there's more to lion's mane that meets the eye. It has a few more tricks up its toothy spines. Scientists have zeroed in on two key bioactive compounds uniquely produced by lion's mane and other members of the genus Heresium, 
parisianones, and aranaceans. These chemical compounds found in different parts of the mushroom can cross the blood-brain barrier in humans and have shown to stimulate nerve growth factor, or NGF. NGF is a protein essential for the development, maintenance, and survival of certain nerve cells, particularly in the peripheral nervous system. NGF is vital to human life. We produce it continuously throughout our lives, but as we age, NGF signaling declines, especially in the brain regions important for learning and memory. And this is where lion's mane takes center stage. Look at this time lapse taken by researchers at the University of Queensland. On the left, you see a normal neuron. On the right, you can literally see a neuron sprouting new connections after being treated with a refined lion's mane extract. I find it fascinating that we still don't know why lion's mane produces these compounds, or why they interact so powerfully with our own biology. And how long has this mushroom been producing these molecules? Centuries, millennia, perhaps longer than humanity itself. For now, these mysteries remain unanswered, but maybe you, watching this video, will be the one to find out. Even as science continues to explore the secrets of lion's mane, some research is already shedding light onto how it affects our mind and body. One of the most talked about studies on lion's mane focused on older adults with mild cognitive impairment, a condition often seen as a precursor to Alzheimer's. Conducted in Japan, this study tracked 30 participants between the ages of 50 and 80 who took lion's mane supplements for 16 weeks. By the end, those taking lion's mane showed noticeable improvements in cognitive function compared to the placebo group. Interestingly, when they stopped taking the supplement, their cognitive scores declined again. Researchers have also tested lion's mane in early-stage Alzheimer patients. In one pilot study, patients took an aranacin A-enriched lion's mane extract for nearly a year. Those in the lion's mane group maintained better cognitive function and improved their ability to perform daily tasks compared to those taking a placebo. Research also suggests that lion's mane may help reduce the buildup of beta amyloid plaques, which is a key pathological feature of Alzheimer's disease. But what about adults with no signs of cognitive decline? This study explored whether lion's mane could enhance memory in healthy people. Over 12 weeks, participants took daily lion's mane supplements, but the results were surprisingly underwhelming. While there is a slight boost in one memory test, the overall cognitive benefits weren't all that groundbreaking, meaning the effects of lion's mane might be more noticeable for people experiencing some level of cognitive impairment. Beyond cognitive health, lion's mane exhibits potential in supporting overall well-being. Research suggests it may alleviate symptoms of depression and anxiety, enhance immune function by modulating protective cell activity, and act as an antioxidant to reduce oxidative stress in the brain. Animal studies have also revealed improvements in metabolic markers such as blood sugar and cholesterol levels. There's plenty of anecdotal evidence out there that lion's mane has made a meaningful impact on people's lives, and that alone is often enough to give this mushroom a try. Yet, despite the growing number of studies each year, there are many limitations. Many involve small sample sizes or had relatively short follow-up periods, which means we still need larger, long-term clinical trials to fully understand its therapeutic potential. With a quick Google search, you'll find that this mushroom has not been approved by the FDA, and they've even issued warning letters to some companies about making false health claims such as lion's mane cures brain fog or lion's mane treats Alzheimer's. Under US law, statements like these turn a supplement into a drug in the eyes of the FDA, which means it would require formal approval before being sold. Although the FDA hasn't approved lion's mane as a drug, they do recognize it as safe for consumption, and I can prove to you right now that it is. But regardless, if it were ever approved as a drug, it would face strict regulations on manufacturing, dosage, and labeling, similar to any pharmaceutical. This matters because supplement companies are not required to prove their products are effective and consistent before putting them on the market. Third-party testing is optional, and some methods of processing lion's mane don't fully preserve its key compounds, so the quality and potency of supplements can vary widely. For example, our lion's mane tincture is manufactured in a commercial kitchen space within the guidance of CGMPs, which is the Current Good Manufacturing Practices, set by the FDA. 
Following these guidelines helps to ensure that we are consistently delivering a safe and traceable product to our customers. Our ingredients and final product are all third-party tested for maximum transparency. It's also worth noting that our extracts come with a supplement fax panel, unlike a lot of other products on the market, which makes ours easier to dose effectively. Although we do everything in our power to create the best product possible, not all companies do. As research into lion's mane continues, we may soon learn just how powerful this mushroom really is. If future studies continue to confirm its benefits, lion's mane could become even more of the go-to supplement for brain support, especially for aging populations. Until then, it remains an enticing, if not fully proven ally for the mind. If you're curious to try Lion's Mane for yourself, Norse Bar makes Lion's Mane tinctures, capsule supplements, as well as Lion's Mane infused chocolate and coffee for making it easy to get the benefits of this powerful mushroom daily. Conversely, you could try growing your own and cook it for dinner using a spray and grow kit. Links to all these products are below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.